Oh dear me, I don't know whether I'm on or off. <laughs> oh dear. Right, um, I think this is okay. If you saw a video of me earlier on Facebook with my hands flashing about all over the place, it's me trying to get this adjusted so that um, I'm accurately looking down at the keyboard uh, and fighting with my mobile. Right, <sighs> am I there? Well, I'm going to take a chance on it. Now, what I was going to do was, uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> that out a few minutes ago before I juggled around with my mobile sitting up there on my holder on the shelf. I'm hoping that went through all right. Um, it, yes, from last week when I couldn't play it last week, <laughs> I'm still can't play it right this week. Um, I tried to do a, a copy of it from another book, an album I've got. And after having printed it all off, I looked at it, I thought, hold on, that's not in the same key as the copy I had last week. Um, so there we are. Um, I'm going to give Big Spender a big shove. <laughs> I've tried. Um, ah, welcome, everyone, to another um, session of a pianistic chaos because uh, I haven't a clue what I'm doing at the moment I've had a, a, a very difficult week um, I've got three pay, uh, three pieces of music here that I dragged out of the filing cabinet um, only yesterday and I had to laugh my head off at this first one I hope it's going to come out alright Winifred Atwell playing the um, black and white rag. Um, I went and saw her at the London Palladium uh, when I was a teenager. Uh, and uh, I must say that she was a um, well-built lady. And I thought the uh, piano store was going to collapse. Uh, but was she a pianist? Wow, she was absolutely incredible. 
Um, I'm afraid that I'm not going to play this. Um, I've got a piano copy only, uh, which means there are no chord symbols to help anything like uh, you would be if you were an organist or just a, a, a keyboard player like I am nowadays. It's written in the key of G, which I don't think is a problem really. Um, although it's not my favourite key, as I've said many, many times. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six pages of it. Um, and I don't even know whether there's any repeats at the moment. It also has great sections where it says 16 VA, which means that you're two octaves, playing it two octaves higher than it's written. Because if they try to play it two octaves on a page, written down as it should be, um, well, it'd be almost off the page. <laughs> so uh, you have to watch out for 16 VA, uh, and then places where it goes to 8 VA, uh, oh, it's a nightmare, I can tell you. So I'm not going to play it. Um, it's, it was published by, it was composed by George Botsford. Uh, went for that world's recording on Decca, I think it was Decca, yeah it was. It was probably the most famous way back in the 50s. And uh, it says copyright Jerome Second Remick and Co. I'm going to take it over by Francis Day. Hasn't got a date on it, but I suspect that it was probably early 1900s. Right, goodbye black and white rag. Certainly not going to try you. I have here a tune called Bless Em All. Um, famous uh, in the um, period of the World War II with forces. Um, written in, um, what says copyright, 19... Well, that wouldn't be right, I can tell you. Uh, surely not. It look Alexa, what is MCM XL? The Roman numeral MCM XL is equal to 1940. Oh, it's 19... I should have realised that. Yes, 1940. Yep, there we are. Wartime period. Um, and it usually got... To help you with that. Thank you, Alexa. Goodbye. Or should I say, Alexa, stop. Um, yeah, uh, sorry if other people have got uh, the same as me for a smart speaker. It probably woke them all up. Um, it's written in the key of um, B. Um, let's see now. Uh, it's a bright waltz. And the forces used to change the words to rude ones. I can tell you that for now. I wasn't in the forces because I was not, I was uh, told I was medically unfit for national service. But I know all about what went on anyway. So it's something like... There's a lot of verses to this, 
um, and choruses. Um, there's one, two, three, four at least. Yeah, four, four verses. And they get worse and worse with the words. Um, but they're clean on here <laughs> and not rude. Which is not how it used to be sung by the lads and lasses in the Army, Navy and Air Force. Uh, right, it says bright waltz. Uh, somebody asked me for um, an old time waltz. Um, I haven't sorted that out as yet, but I'm, I'm trying to do this. Oh, by the way, I only grabbed hold of this piece of music about half an hour ago. I've not done very much on my keyboard the whole of this week. I don't know where the week's gone. It's just flown by. We've had the most peculiar weather. Um, it's been humid today. In fact, quite quite sticky. Um, where are we? I've got to find a old time waltz somewhere. A Viennese waltz. Here we are. Let's see how that sounds. Um, to make sure it's the right sort of tempo. Um, stick it on my um, uh, screen here because it's nearer to my eyesight and I'm still troubled by it all. Right. B flat, yes. them all uh, written by was music Jimmy Hughes and Frank Lake and uh, uh, as I say I used to uh, sing it along with a load of other people uh, um, on some of my gigs years ago uh, uh, when I used to do bowls clubs that used to come down here from the north and uh, um, 
they had championship matches which used to be on TV. That might give you a clue, maybe, where I live on the South Coast. Um, right. Um, this one, <laughs> written by Bob Dylan. Not one of my favourite singers. I always used to say that he sang through his nose. Um, how am I going to tackle this one? I don't know. Um, not quite sure. I haven't played any of this, so it's all fresh to me this afternoon um, in the key of E flat, although I've got copies of it in other keys. Um, I don't know whether that's the key he sang it in. Um, don't know. I've got to find something similar that might be him. What's this look like? Um, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, try this.
blowing in the wind by Bob Dylan and the date of that is obtained in Roman numerals, two different dates. One was unpublished, um, MCMLXII, -I. Um, so that is 1952 and then it got copyrighted again in 1953. So um yeah so really we could say it goes back to 1953 also recorded by peter paul and mary and there they are on the front cover so it wasn't all um uh bob dylan it's quite possible bob dylan didn't uh, record it um at the same time as peter paul and mary they might have done it first who knows Right, um, oh, what are we going to do next? I have the foggiest, I've got requests looking around. Um, somebody asked me to do an old time waltz, which I, of course I've just done one in a way. Um, but uh, I, I am trying to string a couple of tunes together. I've got one in front of me at the moment. Um, I don't know whether I can see it from up there, but I'll, I'll give it a go, um, even though it's a bit distant for me up on the music stand. Um, but I've got to just change it back to that um, waltz rhythm again. Uh, ballroom party English waltz, that might do, but I might have to sort of speed it up, let's see. Right, okay, try this one. Viennese waltz. It said Viennese waltz. I should try that first. Right, um, right, press that button, press that one, and try this. Live Girl that was. Um, I think uh, Matt Monroe did a recording of that from memory but it was written way back in 1962 so I don't doubt a few other people have done it also in the past. 
I will try and do that to old time, real proper old time waltz, uh, where I'm doing a, a, a few maybe that you could sing along to. Um, so what else have I got in this folder? This is, <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, uh, that means going back to my old favourite here of uh, my Foxtrot 2 sound and pressing back and hopefully everything is okay right we're in the QC I'm not doing the waltz that was waltz but it isn't right
ask almost everywhere you go. And if you're going to ask me what the others were, <laughs> I've forgotten by now. <laughs> I just played whatever came into my head or uh, what was on the page. I think what I played might have been... Um, um, that was Everywhere I Go, which I first of all played in B-flat. Um, what else was there? Um, I don't know. I have to play it back and find out what it was I played. Because I can't remember. Uh, nope, I've no idea. Uh, oh, I played a tune called What's New. Um, oh, I think I might have tackled The Breeze and I, but I can't quite remember. Uh, possibly. Um, and I might have done it in a different temper to my normal. Um, yeah, probably. Anyway, I don't know how long I've been playing for, because I didn't check when I started. And by the way, it's the first day of September. Um, and uh, here we are, uh, just coming up to half past six. Um, no idea how long I've been playing for. Uh, once I sit down here, I could play for hours, but um, I am supposed to be playing certain tunes for you. Requests, if I've got any, or if I've managed to find the music or managed to remember it, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, these problems with my health get in the way an awful lot at the moment. Uh, I keep falling asleep so much and it's so annoying. I'm on a lot of painkillers which make me drowsy. All three of them make me drowsy. They all say do not drive, which I can't drive anyway. Not anymore. Not allowed to. My vision's not good enough. Um, so my eyesight's not good for driving and certainly I couldn't drive with my legs being as they are at the moment anyway. And uh, the painkillers, are, each one of them is um, written on the boxes and just says can make you drowsy or sleepy, sleepy, do not operate machinery. Um, or maybe uh, Yamaha Taras 1 keyboards. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't operate those either. Uh, anyway, have fun this week. Make the best of life. And uh, we'll, hopefully this has been recorded. And we'll see you on the next edition of Chaos at the Keyboard. <laughs> um, I'll walk around and sit up and turn this off without messing it up and destroying it, this recording, if it has recorded. Uh, it may not have done. We'll see. <laughs>